less than 257 in the Course in Miracles. Let me remember what my purpose is. If I forget my goal, I can be but confused, unsure of what I am, and thus conflicted in my actions. No one can serve contradicting goals and serve them well, nor can he function without deep distress and great depression. Let us therefore be determined to remember what we want today, that we may unify our thoughts and actions meaningfully and achieve only what God would have us do this day. Just remembering a line, forgiveness is my function as light of the world. Let me remember what my purpose is. Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. Father, forgiveness is your chosen means for our salvation. Let us not forget today that we can have no will but yours, and thus our purpose must be yours as well. If we could reach the peace you will for us, if I want to reach peace, I must have the same will as God. to look on frailty and remind myself that it is not so. Let me remember what my, what my purpose is. Let me remember what my purpose is. Let me with deep sincerity keep remembering and asking to remember. Because asking the medium of miracles to request. We must ask, we must want, we must decide for, have a deep desire. A prayer is the medium of miracles, but in order to, a prayer is just an asking, a desire, serving, when we pray, we ask to see, us to know true prayer is letting go of all the things we thought we needed or wanted. Let me hold this prayer in my mind today. Let me remember what my purpose is. If I forget my goal, I can be but confused, unsure of what I am, and thus conflicted in my actions. No one can serve contradicting, goal, contradicting goals and serve them well. Before I even make an assumption or judgment, I've already assumed I know what the truth is in that situation. So to perceive forgiveness as it is, to perceive my brother as they are and myself, I must start with their spirit. They are one with God. They are whole, complete. 
and nothing that my eyes, ears or any of my senses perceive has anything to do with my bro what my brother is. I must start there. No one can serve contradicting goals and serve them well, nor can he function without deep distress and great depression. Let us therefore be determined to remember what we want today, that we may unify our thoughts and actions meaningfully and achieve only what God would have us do this day. Maybe you can get a sense or a feeling of what it feels like to unify your thoughts and actions with this desire for peace, desire to know the truth. Let me remember what my purpose is, to go beyond the forms, beyond the thinking of the world, and to remember the truth as it is. I have a horsefly sitting on my trousers. I think it likes the sitting in the sun. And this clothing, normally they sting. So I'm just perceiving my attack thoughts. Because normally horseflies, yeah, I swap them away because their bites are quite painful and they leave a mark. start with miraculous thinking, thinking I cannot be hurt by anything in this world, even a horsefly. Let me perceive forgiveness as it is, let me remember what my purpose is. Father, forgiveness is your chosen means of, for our salvation. Let us not forget today that we can have no will but yours. The will of God that you be happy, peaceful, perfect forever, spirit unlimited, unlimited by form, not shrunk into a body, to a body-mind identity. You are made perfect, sinless, whole, complete, without the ability to be hurt by horseflies, or judgments, or the perception of others. or attack thoughts in your mind. Let us not forget today that we can have no will but yours. In truth, no matter how hard we try, how many judgments, or how long we've perceived this seeming, this seeming world, or how long our projection has gone on for, it doesn't change the fact that we're perfect and sinless forever. drawing on my recent experiences, just being in that complete sinlessness, remembering just being spirit, away from the body, completely removed from personal identification. And even my friend's experience which strangely I was able to draw from, from their experience, 
I knew what they were saying was true because I've experienced it myself, also in the conviction of my brother that they had gone to this reality even for a short time and known themselves completely as what they are and come back with that remembrance and I could feel the strength of knowing that perfection and his words were beyond comprehension blissful, peaceful joy a thousand times more a thousand times stronger than you've ever experienced you know, just everything you've ever wanted or the sought for in time times by a thousand and that is your natural state and that is what we really want and this is our real searching beyond all the idols of the world and thus our purpose must be yours as well if we would reach the peace you will for us the peace God wills for you is a thousand times what you can even imagine the peace that you want a thousand times beyond comprehension so let me be determined today let me remember what my purpose is let me remember what my purpose is you can even chant it as you're walking let me remember what my purpose is remember innocence in its completion let me remember what my purpose is Maybe you'd answer it throughout the day. What is my purpose? Let me remember what my purpose is. What is my purpose? To the see sinlessness in my brother, to go beyond thoughts, beyond what I perceive them to be. To see the truth in everyone so that it is reflected back to me. How you see your brother is how you see yourself. Let me remember what my purpose is. I'm going to be releasing a series of videos soon in the coming days of the practical application of the mind training because something that I found difficult over the years is really when applying the daily lesson really getting it into mind and some of the more basic teachings to get them stamped into the mind you know listening to Keith Kavanagh recently talk about these basic ideas of identification first and the, the welcoming and different approaches that allow this thought system to be stamped into the mind or yeah you know there's people that have studied of course in miracles from the wrong perspective for 20 30 years I mean I've it's been 14 15 years for me, is it? 15 years with A Course in Miracles and still 
not grasping and not having a consistent state of mind with these principles. So I'm creating these audios and these meditations, practices that the idea is to take someone through the, through the process and really get it firmed into the mind so it just becomes normal and natural. Because it's often very difficult when you're going through your days, what I found even doing the lessons, I forget. I don't remember to use the lesson as part of my practice. And these are ways of like boot camps. Imagine just, you know, you, you do it so consistently that it just becomes a natural thing and it can be applied to the lessons and everything else. So yeah, I'll be releasing that soon. Other than that, have a wonderful day. Let me remember what my purpose is.